Y-T? Y-T. Don't think answer. <laughs> that was such a hard question. <laughs> I think Y teeth was planted in my head at that grade eight <laughs> evaluation. Teeth are such a small part of your body and they probably have the biggest impact. I love talking to people all the time. I love the staff here. I like making people feel good about their smiles. Have them even come in months later and tell me how you know, motivated they've been about taking care of their teeth because they feel so much better about their smile. It's shocking that everyone has them, but each set is unique to that individual. It shows their character. It, it shows so much more than, hey, this is what I smile with. I'm Lara Sawyer and I'm one of the dentists here at Malden Dental. I always said that being the daughter of a nurse, that it's no surprise that I went into some kind of healthcare field. Um, my mom is somebody who's always inspired me to work hard, but also kind of showed me the importance of helping other people. If I wasn't in dentistry, I would find a field so that I could still do that. And for me, it's the small things as much as I can bring a patient in, somebody who's so nervous about coming into the dentist, but make them feel comfortable enough that they're able to at least come even just once a year for a checkup. To the patient who I can do a smile makeover and give them some self-confidence back. There's a lot of satisfaction in helping patients be the best that they can be. I met Mike, um, he became an associate at the practice I was at. Uh, about two years before we moved to this office. Working with Dr. Sawyer is probably a dream come true. Dentistry is not easy. And then when you work with the public and they're really anxious to come and see you, is that much more of a challenge? And what I really saw in Mike that I liked was he had a real ability to connect with people. I love having that resource. I love having someone here that I can turn to and expect a pretty phenomenal response. And it is 100% of the time. And I think that's where we had an initial connection. And as we kept on talking more and more, we realized that our ideas are quite compatible, actually. And we thought, hey, why don't we just try to put this together and really come up with a pretty amazing result. And, and that's where the office comes in. And it's been a dream come true. And if I was being truthful, there's no way in hell I could do this without Dr. Sawyer, for sure. So it's a pretty funny story how the initial steps happened with dentistry. After my sister's passing, and she was one of my biggest kind of fans to try to get me to become a dentist, I had a dream, and that dream was putting me up at uh, the admissions office of uh, Detroit Mercy. But I woke up from that dream, and you know, I had sweat drips coming from my from my forehead, and this was like five in the morning. My wife was next to me, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" So I went up and sent an email to the admissions director. And long story short, you know what? It really helped uh, get the ball rolling. And I think appreciating the reason why you take those journeys and you take those steps forward are important because a lot of the times, the people that you have around you, the, the motivation that kind of pushes you that extra little bit to study a little harder, to separate yourself a little bit further, to hone that skill a little bit better. Yeah, I think that I think that all stems from who you are and the experiences that you have. And, and a lot of the times from sometimes even the failures and sacrifices that you have to overcome. And that journey is what makes you who you are. Yeah, from an early age, I was really interested in both the sciences and the art. And I feel like dentistry kind of brings both of those together. Well, I really love to change people's smiles, you know, with orthodontics, with Invisalign. It's really cool, you know, showing someone photos of what it looked like before and then kind of comparing to the after. Um, and people are really, you know, shocked by that because there's small changes over time and it's just nice to see the big picture. Yeah, ideally we don't like to see emergencies, but when we do, it's just really nice to provide that immediate relief for a patient. And I think they're really appreciative too. And then it kind of gets them back in that habit of, of coming in and trying to avoid those emergencies in the first place. Family values were 
something that I grew up with that was strongly reinforced to really make sure that the people who you surround yourself with, they'll be there to pick you up when you're having a bad day. When Dr. Sawyer and I were kind of looking at our staff and and where our needs were, yeah, we all, all want to have amazing clinicians, but at the same time, we're trying really, really hard to kind of capture that family feel. I think the team that we've put together here really share a common set of values in terms of patient care. We all certainly uh, want the same thing. We want all the patients who come into this office to feel very comfortable. We want them to feel that we're here for them. And you know what, we're here to care for people. That's our number one priority. There's something to waking up every morning and actually loving coming to work. That love, that, 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 that glue that holds it all together, my hope is that that gets felt throughout the office. The path that led me to dental started as a child when I would go to my dental office. I required a lot of work as a patient. Growing up, my dentist was a jokester and Mike reminds me a lot of him. I love kids. I, I'm, I'm a big kid myself, actually. And there's so many things that would that would dictate kind of some negative associations with a dentist and how scary dentists and the visits could be. We want to change that right from the very beginning. So we focus on short, very positive experiences and really establishing a dental home for these kids. We want to make sure that our patients trust us, you know, to take care of them. Our focus was kind of on how we could make this a really enjoyable experience for our patients coming in. When coming to work at Malden Dental, I realized that this is not my office but I do take ownership. I feel like it's part of who I am. It's part of me for myself. I truly believe that if you put that patient first, everything else falls into place. There's a sense of pride and craftsmanship into, into the things that I do and the overall care that we try to achieve. And, and that really kind of helped push a focus on customer service and uh, how we can kind of put a smile on people's faces.